So this is another example of how we can visualize data in immersive experiences. This time I'm mapping 800 different Pokemon onto uh, a chart, mapping the defense on the score on the y-axis and the attack uh, value on, on the x-axis. Uh, and I've got my little um, key here, which can tell me which of the colors relate to what, which are grass Pokemon and which are fire Pokemon and which are water Pokemon. I don't know that much about Pokemon, to be honest, but I thought it'd be interesting to map them out and see if we can identify any patterns in, in that data set. For example, if I turn on linear regression, I can see, generally speaking, as the attack uh, value increases on the x-axis, the defense value increases on the y-axis as well. So I imagine these are less powerful Pokemon on the bottom here and more powerful uh, at the top. Uh, and then like any above the line or above average and, and uh, any below the line uh, are below average. You can also throw on uh, the, the minor guidelines to see which the values that they, they uh, map up to. Again, I can walk around this because it's just a, uh, a 2D plane in 3D space. So I can walk around this. thing I can do is go out and grab some of these. So here we go. I've got, um, I don't know, a Pokemon called Freebus. Never heard of him, but I guess I don't know much about Pokemon. Another one called Carvana. I go grab another one. I keep picking uh, water ones for some reason. Another one. Yeah, so the, you can see they've got the attack, defense, hit point, speed, the type. Oh, that's a bug. These are all water. Uh, I'm just going to reset those positions. The other thing I can do is uh, I'm just going to take linear regression off. You show clusters using k-means clustering. I can group semi-related data uh, or data points uh, into clusters using k-means clustering it tells me the, these clusters um, the data points within each are similar to each other and if I can also uh, jump into the z-axis um, so here as well as the x and y axis I'm also plotting the speed value on the uh, the z-axis and then the size of the spheres i think i'm using the hit points uh or total in fact to 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 increase the size of the um uh to denote the, the how powerful those pokemon is using the the size of the spheres so i can walk around this again i can i can interact with these i can see that's a flying one and what's that one that's a uh dragon one so this is pretty neat i can also put clus use clustering in in three dimensions as well uh, and like i said just because the two pokemon or two data points were in the same cluster in the uh, two dimensions doesn't mean they'll be in the same cluster in three dimensions because the proximity of the data points might be uh, different cool so that is just uh, how we can um look at some of these data points uh differently than how we did previously where we looked at some uh, interesting uh, and probably more important data points to do with um, GDP per capita per country and, and life expectancy and also I throw a link into to that uh, proof of concept as well but this is how to display different data in mixed reality using csharp.net visual studio and this is um, presented and being recorded on my uh, Quest 3 headset. You don't need an expensive HoloLens and you don't need to learn uh, something like Unity to, to create mixed reality experiences. You can use Visual Studio.net C Sharp and also a Stereo Kit to create these sort of experiences. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna knock a load of these options off. Oh, the other thing I can do, which I completely forgot to mention is, oh, first of all, I can uh, also toggle pass through so I don't have to see my living room. I can see this data in this sort of space and I can toggle 3D in here. Uh, the other thing I can do is uh, show it in a, like an office space if I wanted, which is kind of neat. And then the other thing I can do is once I take up top the VR office off again, is uh, filter this data as well. So maybe let's just hide them all for now. Maybe I just want to see the flying Pokemon or the ground ones as well, or the, the poison ones. I don't they, just, they sound nasty. I don't know what they are. But uh, yeah, so I can do all this as well. And the the new question uh, it still works. So I'll just 
show them all again. So that is um, visualizing and interacting and analyzing data in an immersive experience. I hope you enjoyed that. See you now. Bye.